taking a look at Tract 9 at Wild Turkey Hollow. So we're on the west side of the property. Truck is parked on the county road. Tract 9 borders the county road along its entire west side. Where we are right now, we're looking north, so the land is on the right. And then uh, borders the Mark Twain National Forest along its entire east side. It looks like it, uh, as you come off the county road, it right, I don't have the map with me, but it rises up, and then I believe it levels out as you go more to the west to the National Forest. Here's a spot right here where uh, it wouldn't take much work to get in a driveway. Got a little ditch here. You could uh, uh, just smooth that out a little bit with, uh, with shovels or with a piece of machinery, or you could buy one of the plastic culverts. They're the cheapest. Around a hundred bucks, I believe, uh, and do it that way. What we decided to do on this one uh, is basically leave it as it is and sell it as cheaply as we can. So we haven't done any type of approaches. We haven't done any type of driveways or building sites. Uh, you're going to have the opportunity to do that yourself and get some instant sweat equity in the property that way. So yeah, track nine rises up. I wouldn't call it steep, it's easily walkable and there wouldn't be much problem to get a, a driveway in here. I wish I had the topo map, but if memory serves, um, this is about, about as steep as it gets and this isn't bad. And then once we get uh, a couple hundred feet back, a few hundred feet back, I believe it levels off. And then there's a large flat area going back toward the National Forest. So as we look back to the west, you can just barely see the truck. This situation is making me think about the, uh, the excellent views that you would have toward the east. And you could certainly make a building site or a campsite uh, here on this west side. You might need a piece of machinery to move a little dirt, but you could definitely do that and get it nice and close to the county road. You can see already, I'm sure, that there's quite a bit of timber on this property. This is not something that's been recently logged. Like just about every property in the Ozarks and elsewhere, uh, it's been logged at some point, but uh, I'm not seeing any signs of any recent logging. The stumps I see are very old stumps. 20 years old. So now we haven't even gone that far and it's starting to level off. And this is what I would probably do if we were actually doing a site on this. I would bring the driveway back in up to about this area and then clear a nice big spot up here. And you would be super private. Uh, you'd have a, a tremendous view to the west uh, if you were to clear out some of the smaller trees. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. It completely levels out up here. This is all I've ever seen of this property and I'm very impressed. Now we're actually getting into more of a grassy area. So there's a lot going on on this property. We've stumbled on onto some type of trail that's headed back toward the east. Looks like it hasn't been used as a trail for decades. Wow, really cool, I like this. We just did a drone video uh, a little while ago of this property and it was obvious with the drone video and if you watch it you'll see that it's wooded all the way back to the National Forest. 
In fact, I believe it transitions more into bigger hardwood trees. I'm going back to the west now, but if we were to keep going to the east, uh, the drone video indicated uh, a large uh, population of hardwood trees and uh, some pines as well. Very nice property. If you've been looking around a little bit in the Ozarks or elsewhere, you know how hard it is to find a property with direct frontage on the national forest or on uh, state land uh, because these properties are really, really in demand for the simple reason that uh, you own this tract and you've got direct access into thousands of acres of land for hunting, for recreation, there are trails, trail riding is big, uh, so the demand for these is great and there are, there are only so many properties that border uh, public land, the public land is somewhat limited. Add to that that oftentimes the public land is very secluded, uh, which means uh, we've had properties in the past, for instance, that border public land, but they're very hard to get to. Miles and miles of forest roads or trails or no roads or trails at all. This happens to have direct county road frontage, and we're just a few hundred feet from the electric line. Maybe even closer, I'm not sure, but electric is very close. So here we have a high quality property for building, camping, hunting, uh, I feel it's a very strong investment. I've seen what has happened in other states. Um, as the hunting land becomes more and more expensive, the land that borders public uh, national forest or state forest becomes that much more expensive. Because now instead of having to uh, have a million dollar loan to hunt a huge piece of land, you've got uh, this property right here with direct access to that land. So you can go in and, and set up your hunting sites and, uh, and do it that way on the public land. And then come on back to your own acreage where you've got your house or cabin or your campsite or RV. And uh, it's just a really good situation. So anyway, where I was going with that... <laughs> is that from an investment standpoint, uh, you're looking at a really solid property. Something that's going to be in demand for a long, long time. So as I get back toward the county road here, there we go. We've got all types of timber on this property. Even though we do have some nice hardwoods here on the east, uh, the drone video made it apparent that there were even more as you go toward that west side. I'm sorry, I've got it backwards. As you go more toward that east side, toward the National Forest, run into uh, even more hardwood trees as it levels out up there especially. Nice, nice property. There we have it. We spend the better part of our days looking for properties uh, close to the National Forest. And when we're super lucky, we get to find the ones on the National Forest. This particular one is on the National Forest with excellent access. So you can get here all year in any type of vehicle. Once you create your own driveway, you can pull right onto the property. In the truck I'm in today, I mean, we could pull over this ditch and, and pull onto the property and park. That's no problem. You know, that is a, they just redid these roads. Uh, but if I had a little shovel with me, I'd smooth out that ditch and I could pull right onto the property. But ultimately, uh, you'll probably want to bring a chainsaw and a weed whacker and clear your own driveway can't cut the mature timber uh, until the property's been paid for in full and then you're welcome to log it sell the timber build a log home out of uh, the wood on the property 
Uh, that's once the property's been paid for in full. But with that, we're generally very happy to give written permission to remove mature trees in order to create a driveway or a building site because we know that's necessary. Super nice property, track nine at Turkey Hollow. And the electric's actually closer than I thought. It's crossing over the road right there. I don't, I don't see the other markers, so I don't know for sure if that's on the property, but it is certainly close within 100 feet of, of this property.